how to fulfill orders on CJ Dropshipping. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can get started with dropshipping on Shopify using CJ Dropshipping and how you can set up your product fulfillment on CJ Dropshipping. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is click on settings on the bottom left, click on apps and sales channels and open up the Shopify app store. Once we open up the Shopify app store, we are going to download the CJ dropshipping integration. So just search for CJ dropshipping and click on install. Now, once you've clicked on install, you will have the installation page opened up and you're just going to click on install over here. And once you click on install, you will be led to the authentication from CJ dropshipping where you're going to log into your CJ dropshipping account. If you don't have one already, you can just click on register here to register with CJ dropshipping. And it's very simple. All you need is an email address to create your account. And I will be using my Google account to create a account on CJ dropshipping. So once we've completed that, we can get started with CJ dropshipping. Now on the top left, you will have your language and currency as well as a to-do list. And on the top, you have the warehouses as well as the different categories of items that you can use. Now, once we have gone ahead and linked our account, we should be able to go into our actual order history or to our actual dashboard on CJ Dropshipping to view more details. So you guys will see on the top left, you will have different types of information brackets, such as whether or not your orders are awaiting payment, pending, processing, closed, completed, or dispatched. So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that our store is connected with CJ Dropshipping. So if I go into my CJ over here, we have store authorization and it has been linked to my store called Meraki over here. So if I take a look at my store, now, what I'm going to do is once we have linked to our store, and if you can't find your store over here, you can just go on ahead and click on add store, click on authorize, and then click on open app and then you should be able to see your cj dropshipping store so this will open up your link and i will click on authorize over here to connect to my account and if your shopify store is logged in on your browser already you should be able to see your store on the left now the next thing i'm going to do is once we have completed our store authorization you can just go into stores and then just reconfirm your store so we have our store that has been authorized now the next step i am going to do is actually import a product. So to find products on CJ Dropshipping, you can click on find product on the top left panel. Once you go into this top left panel, you will see some trending products that are currently selling well on CJ Dropshipping. Now it's a very pivotal part of any dropshipping business to ensure that the products that you are using are a good, a, a demanded product. So you guys can see we have this remote control interactive cat car toy. This looks like a very interesting topic. Plus, if you want to do some market research, such as searching for these products on TikTok finds, Amazon finds, you can go on ahead and search for them on TikTok and you can find them under these hashtags of best Amazon finds or best eBay finds like that. And what this will do is that this will show you whether or not there is demand for that product. So I think this is a pretty good product. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on list on the bottom and then I can get started with listing it on my Shopify store. I can enter the product type, the vendor, the title that I want to use. So I am going to add cat card toy. And then after that, I can choose a collection. I want to display it on the homepage collection. And then I can click on the categories like this. And then after that, we have tags as well as our store price. So we have the template listing. I don't want any tags, so I'll just go into the variant pricing. And then I'll add a price on our Shopify store. And the dropshipping price in total for me is $18.23. And then I'll list this for $30 on my Shopify store. Then on the top, you have options to set your shipping warehouse. This is being shipped from China. And then after that, we have your most frequently shipped country. So for us, let's say I primarily focus my marketing in Canada. So let's say we want to ship most of these to Canada. And then after that, I can click on list it now on the bottom. You can also click on images and videos to customize which videos and images you want to display as well as the product description. So whether or not you want to include images or a detailed description. 
Now, once you've completed that, you can go into my product on the left and you will be able to see any of the products that you have synced up from CJ Dropshipping onto your Shopify store. So let's take a look at our store over here and whether or not our product is currently being listed. So in only a few seconds, our product has now been listed on our store and I'll click on buy it now over here to just purchase this product and I will just use cash on delivery as an option. And then once I've done that, I can click on complete order. So just like that, I have placed an order onto my own Shopify store with the CJ dropshipping product that we just inserted. Now, how do we move from orders to fulfillment? Well, once an order is placed on your Shopify store, you can go into orders on the left panel over here and you will see orders in your Shopify store. Now, once you see your orders, you will see whether or not the payment has been made and whether or not they are fulfilled. So you can click on collect payment and you can enter a credit card. If they have entered a credit card, the payment will be sent to you. And you can click on mark as paid. So I'll just mark this as a paid item. And then from here, what you're going to do is you can click on request fulfillment in your Shopify dashboard. And once you click on request fulfillment, you're going to click on send fulfillment request and your fulfillment request will actually be sent to the CJ dropshipping supplier. So as you guys can see in my CJ dropshipping dashboard currently, we can see that there is an order, but you have to confirm whether or not your orders have to be routed right now. So I can go on ahead and click on send fulfillment request on the bottom. Now, once I do that, so once this has been sent, you guys will see that once you have sent the fulfillment request, you can take a look at your fulfillment status of your particular product. So you will have all the details about that particular product present over there. So currently fulfillment is in progress. And when CJ Dropshipping or the supplier on CJ Dropshipping actually sends out the order, you will have a update on the orders and you will be able to provide tracking numbers to the to your actual customer. So right now we have this store order in CJ Dropshipping. CJ Dropshipping will deal with your dispute for delayed orders after 100 days and counting from the date that the order has departed from the CJ warehouse. So now once we do that, we can go on ahead and wait for our order fulfillment to be completed. You can also select an order and you have multiple different options where you can combine orders together, split them if they are too, you know, too many products in one order and one product might take larger, a larger larger number of time. Then you also have options to import orders and create orders as well. So in this way, you can get started with order fulfillment on CJ Dropshipping with your Shopify store. It's pretty simple and easy and can be a great way for you to start your dropshipping business. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.